how to design stairs in Revit using sketch tool and in this video we are going to discuss about preparing custom stair of any shape in Revit using this tool and also the solution to the problems we are going to face after these kind of stairs. Let's start. Here we have two levels plinth level and first floor and we are going to design our stairs from plinth level to first floor. Taking your plan to east elevation. Our plinth level is at 0 feet and our first floor is at 10 feet. And now we are going to place our stairs from plinth level to first floor. Let's prepare arbitrary floor at two different levels at plinth level and first floor. Now taking your plan at plinth level and we are going to prepare our first floor here. Going to architecture tab we have an option for floor in drop down menu floor architecture. Under architecture floors we have different type of floors and I am taking 300 mm generic floor. Now selecting the boundary line and placing a floor at our plinth level. And after completing your floor boundary, hit finish. Now taking your plan at one of the elevations, selecting the floor at plinth level. Under modify tab, we have an option for copy. Selecting the point of the floor and coinciding with the alignment of the first floor and here we go. We have successfully created two arbitrary floors and now we are going to place our stair between these two floors. Now switch the view to one of your floor plans. Here I am going with plinth level and we are going to place our stairs. Under architecture tab you have an option for stairs. Selecting the option and then selecting the option for create stairs. And here first option is boundary line and selecting the line tool. You can place lines for your boundary line. And let's say 14 feet for the length of stairs and for the boundary line width of the stairs here I am taking 6 feet 6 inches and again 14 feet and now for the width of tread or riser here you can go with 3 feet and along the span of risers we are going with 10 feet And then with uh, 6 inches and again completing our boundary line with 10 feet. And that's it. We have successfully created our first step which is boundary line for our stairs. And the second option is preparing riser for our stairs. Selecting the option for risers and again selecting the line tool. Now draw the first riser as the reference riser at the end of your boundary line. And after this under modify tab you have an option for offset. And then select numerical offset. Provide the value of the offset. And here I am taking one feet of offset. And here this offset is your tread size. Now click on these risers and place your cursor a bit to the left and that's how you can place the location for your risers and escape. You have successfully placed all the risers to the right of your stairs. Now you have to similarly place your risers on the left side of your stairs. For this you have to select all the risers and under modify tab you have an option for draw axis. And here you have to 
select the midpoint of this line and drag it all the way to the right and here we have placed the location for our risers and our third step is stair path selecting the path for our stairs and again selecting the line tool we have to draw the path of stairs and here we have to draw the path of stairs which should be a continuous path and now our stairs will go from left to right like this and now hitting finish and here we go we have prepared our stairs but if you want to change the direction of your stairs you can use the tools option and then flip your stairs using this you can flip the direction of your stairs and under the tools option you have also an option for railing and you can also place different type of railings by using this option now under properties panel you have different type of stairs and here i am using cast in place stair which is monolithic stair and i recommend you to use this type of stair whenever you are going to prepare the sketch of your stairs and now talking about constraints our base level is at plinth level for our stairs and now hit finish because we have completed the sketch of our stairs and after this taking your plan in default 3d view here we can see that the top level of our stair is higher than the top level constraint which is first floor for these stairs now we're going to adjust this by using dimensions and desired number of riser for these stairs here the default number of riser is 17 let's change this to 18 and now the top level of our stair moves a bit downwards and that means by increasing the desired number of risers we can decrease the height of our risers and now i'm going with 20 number of risers and here we go we have perfectly aligned the top of our stairs with the first floor and now we're going to move our stair towards our reference floor first selecting the stair and then move it towards left you can use the drag option or left arrow to move your stair towards the left and now it's done we have perfectly placed our stair between our two arbitrary floors and by using this edit tool you can prepare any type of custom stairs for your plan and that's all about sketch tool for stairs in revit and i hope you like the video and thank you for watching see you in the next video